Hello all YouTubers, this is Eddie again, the uh, unlicensed mechanic, a do-it-yourselfer. So here's the deal, I kept getting this oil leak on the right, pa right passenger side of my CRV 2002 Honda. And I could not find it for the life of me, okay. Um, upon closer inspection, I um, discovered that on the back of this engine, Hopefully I can get it. On the back of this engine. Oh man. There we go. Okay. There is this little device here. Alright. See that right there? Uh, that is called your V-Tech solenoid. Beneath that is your oil pressure uh solenoid so don't get the two mixed up usually when you're looking for this top part people will get that part mixed up so that's that's the whole apparatus right there it's got three bolts that are connected to it all right plus two um sensors connected on top of it i can't do it from here but the best way to get this off is through the wheat is by taking off your right passenger wheel and uh getting a a quarter inch ratchet uh, uh, I think a, a, a two inch extension with a 10 millimeter socket. Best possible way. Everybody complained about how hard it was to get to these bolts. That's because they didn't take off the, the right passenger tire. That's the best way to get to these bolts. Once you take the bolts off, they are torqued at 7.2 pounds, I think 7.2 foot pounds. Um, so you'll, you'll feel it, it, it takes a little doing to take them off. Um, I took them off and then once I got them off, I turned the, the apparatus around and disconnected the sensors. That to me was probably the best way to do it. You can try it from the top, but you're not going to get to the bolts from the top very easily. All right, there's, there's a top over there somewhere. Okay, so now behind this little device, let me just take you, show you what it looks like. Okay, this here is the used one all right you'll be disconnecting from this see it's on the engine like this okay once you turn it around you'll be disconnecting from this and this sensor there are two sensors and you have to look at them to be able to disconnect them because you can pull them out and 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 because there's like a little clip on each one so you, ha you should you have to be able to see those clips get some good lighting in there too it's going to help you a ton all right behind this apparatus there is a little gasket that goes right in here all right now you can just go ahead and buy the gasket all right but this is where my oil leak was coming from you see what happens over time i'm gonna find that darn gasket is these gaskets they tend to get really flat and hard. This thing is hard. I mean, it's not even pliable. It's real brittle. Look, it even like, as soon as I touched it, it broke apart. See that? And you see, it goes in like, it goes in like, uh, like this. And what happens is this gasket is compressed up against that engine for so long that it begins to use it, uh, lose its, um, its seal. So, I mean, it's almost flush up against this thing here, up against the metal. And so the leak was coming out from the bottom of this the whole time. Now, yes, I could have gotten a new, just a new gasket, and I think they're about 20, 20 bucks. Um, but then I thought, well, shoot, you know what? This little thing, uh, sensor here is 60. When I looked it up, I saw some places were asking 30, all right? And I didn't get like a, um, an error code on my car or anything like that. But I thought, well, shoot, you know what? I'm just going to see how much the whole thing cost. I went on eBay and I got the whole thing for $82 with, with free shipping. Actually, it was less than that. It was less than $82. If you go to the Honda dealership, you're going to pay $150. $140, $150. If you have them install it, you're going to pay what they wanted to charge me over $350. You know how long it took me to install this? With the right tools, it took me about 20 minutes, tops, all right? And what you need is this, okay? A quarter inch sock, a, a ratchet, a quarter inch, um, two inch extension, three inch extension, and a quarter inch socket to unloosen it. 
Now, those, these nuts that are on the back of this that I took off are torqued. There are three bolts, all right? Only three. Don't worry about that one. That's a hex nut. Just the three bolts, and then it'll pry off with a screwdriver up top. Just kind of, you know, pry it off very carefully. Um, they are all torqued at 7.2 pounds, 7.2 foot pounds. I, I didn't really torque them with my, my, uh, my torque wrench because, I don't know, I was a little afraid about over torquing. I got one of those dial things and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to hand tight, I'm going to hand tighten them, then use the ratchet to torque them down a little bit and then go maybe another quarter turn. And to me that was, seemed sufficient. If you over torque it, um, you can have problems. So, I thought doing it old school way was better for me. Um, I'll go out and buy a better torque wrench, but for now that's how I did it. Um, take off your right wheel, jack it up. I used a, one of those Harbor Freight jacks here, six ton. I know it's overkill, but safety is everything to me, man. And then I put another jack up front, like this. See that? Right where it's supposed to be. There's a little arrow that points right at, 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 the, at the anchor point where you're supposed to put these jacks in the front and I lifted this mother up all right so that's what you need to uh, to take off that sensor now a lot of times if the sensor is going bad if the sensors on top are going bad you'll get an error message on like a uh, maybe an engine light on or you might see uh, an error you know an engine light will go on and then you'll get you'll take it to AutoZone they'll look at the they'll code it for you and, they'll, and it'll tell you what's wrong but in my case, it was just an oil leak. It wasn't the sensors that are going bad. But I'm a fond believer of, you know what, by the time you pay for the gasket, um, I don't know. I know some people like to say, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, I'm the opposite. If it ain't broke and something else is wrong on the other side of it, fix the whole damn thing. That's what I say. All right? That's just me. Um, you can tell I got it all jacked up. I got a light in here. All right? Everything's connected. Like I said, folks, it took me about 20 minutes. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and post it. If you got a leak around your engine somewhere and you can't find it, but it's coming off the right side of the passenger side, those VTEC solenoids are, are usually common for leaking on you. Um, anyway, I'm out. Thanks a lot.